uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to call HTTP based service from our workflow so in order to do that I'll just create a new project I'll just call this as a HTTP request demo I'll create the project first and once I create the project inside that I'm going to create a workflow I'll call this as a HTTP request workflow I'll just edit it first and I'll change the name for the workflow HTTP request workflow I'll click done and I'm going to add a HTTP request now I'll drag and drop it here so that it will automatically map from your start button to here and I'm going to configure the HTTP request value where using HTTP request you can call any HTTP based web service uh, I'll just take some sample web service from internet itself uh, sample rest based web service for testing and I'll just uh, go to any website I'll go to this dummy rest API example.com where I'll try to take some example API okay so I'll just try to call this API and I'll just first before testing it from web method IO integration I'm going to check it from the browser it's coming or not so it's not working because it's saying too many requests I'll try to see other API which is working API I'll take it I'll try to run that okay that is also giving too many employees so I'll just uh, give a next one with a different data okay I think the server is too busy uh, it's not giving any response back yeah so now it's giving response back so I'll just take this exam this endpoint which is a get endpoint only so that's why when I call from the browser it's giving a result so I'll just go to key our web method IO integration in HTTP request in the action configuration I'm going to give that URL and in this one I'm not going to I'm not going to pass any URI param or basic authentication or header for example if you're going to call any HTTP based service if you need to call any basic authentication then you can click this plus simple where you can pass your username and password so if as it's not record I'll delete it similarly whenever you call any service if you need to send some HTTP parameters so you can say what is a HTTP header parameter then you can specify the value similarly you can pass n number of parameters uh, if the service which we are invoking it requests a many HTTP specific header you can pass that from here I'll delete that which is not required and as of now I need only the URL and I'll just click next and this is my input and output it's empty for example if I want to test now it will give a, if it's able to successfully connect and it's able to retrieve the response see here 429 it's coming which is too many requests which means it's able to reach that particular web service server and it's giving that response because currently this is the response it's coming from that server I'll retest it again just to see uh, we are able to get successfully uh, that particular request response from that particular server so it's giving 429 again I'll try to retest it because the server is busy many people are testing so that's why we are getting the same thing okay that's fine I'll just click done uh, meanwhile I'll just uh, select this and mouse over it once you see the circle you just drag and drop this to the stop button so that this workflow configuration is complete I'll save this workflow so earlier we have seen how to test it right when I click it there is a option to test it so now I'll just run this workflow so that uh, it will execute it basically it will come to the start there's a blue icon right or blue thing is selected so it's executed it I'll go and see the result here you'll be able to see the HTTP request result by selecting this row and click the output and one minute it's opening some window I'll just close that So now if you look at it right uh, output response see here 200 came so which means there is a record coming back and you see there is a response text called employee tiger nixon and employee salary employee age everything is coming. So this way you can execute any web service URL from here okay. So this if web service is giving some error uh, sometime it's giving 429 you can try some other URL for me uh, I am able to get the 200 response now but you can also execute and see how that is working for you 
okay so i can save this one so now the how we have seen how to invoke our http based web service from our workflow and and uh, again uh, it's not similar to the http workflow uh, but again if you wanted to export this workflow there is an option to export it so it will store as a json file and uh, you can save it and you can give some description and then you can export it it will export as a json file into your uh, system using which you can later import it as well see here it's downloaded as a zip file if you already import later you can click import or if you somebody has developed something and you wanted to export and import in your end you can do that as well similarly if you wanted to create a clone for the same workflow you can click a clone then it's a, it will create a same thing and if you you can rename it as of now i'll just leave that as a default and if you click clone see here the cloned workflow is coming here so this way you can uh, clone your workflow as well thank you